In previous videos, we talked about the importance of planting the right thought seeds in our minds. And we've talked about when you plant peas, you get peas. When you plant beans, you get beans. You plant corn, you get corn. You plant nothing. Most people would say nothing. But as you know, if you watch these other videos, you don't get nothing, you get weeds. If you plant nothing, look outside, you get weeds automatically. Weeds are automatic. The negative thoughts creep in automatically unless we rip them out and plant the positive seeds. So we got to rip out the negative thoughts and replace them. And what do we do? What do we replace them with? We replace them with thoughts of what we're thankful about, what we want to accomplish in our lives. And it's important every day, I think it's important to have a routine for getting ourselves in our best mental state. Don't leave it to chance. Don't give the opportunity first thing in the morning. Don't give the opportunity for the weed seeds to be planted in your mind. Because if you don't plant something good, if you don't rip them out and plant something good, they're automatic. So that's why we have to talk to ourselves and have a routine, just like the top athletes, the top salespeople, and the successful people in general have a routine. And here's one I suggest. I call it the BTA. That's breathe, thankful, and accomplish. The first part of the routine, and it only takes a few minutes to do this routine to get our mind in the best state, is breathe. Now, this may sound or look funny, and uh, I agree. But if it works, does it really matter? Besides, you're going to be all alone doing this. So take 10 deep breaths, like... Do that 10 times. You can even add a movement. This is what Anthony Robbins does. 10 times. Get that oxygen inside. Take those deep breaths. will actually get oxygen in your brain and in your body. Get your mind ready for peak accomplishment. It's a good routine to have first thing in the morning. Take 10 deep breaths. After you take your 10 deep breaths, concentrate with your eyes closed if you wish. Sit there and feel however you want to feel. And then start thinking about the things you're, you're thankful about. For example, I might think about, I might sit here with my eyes closed and think about how wonderful it is to have a family and everybody's healthy. And uh, I might uh, be thankful about, uh, I, I'm really passionate that I'm a pilot, that I got to soar up in the skies. I really like that. I'm very, very thankful for that accomplishment. I love the people that I work with. They're like, they're like family. I want to help them. I want to see, see their families do well. I want to see them do well. And I really care about and I have passion about the people I work with. So I'm very, very thankful about the people I've had the opportunity to work with for so many years. And I have planted my mine seeds of thankfulness and that whole time I wasn't thinking about what I was uh, negative about or what I was worried about I was thinking about what I was think thankful about you can only hold one dominant thought in your mind and finally the A is accomplishments think about what is the number of sales or the amount of sales that I want to accomplish today uh, maybe I want to do some a particular work on a website or, or a report and uh, how much I want to help each individual in the company accomplish. Uh, maybe things I want to do with my family after the work day. And so those are the things and the, we picture these as if they've already happened in our mind. Something happens in our brain if we picture these things that we want to accomplish as if they have already taken place and then our day we just live into that picture we created first thing in the morning. So that's something that I would suggest. Give it a try. Take 10 deep breaths. You can add a movement to it if you want to. Uh, next, think about things that you're really, really thankful about. You really go into a, a deep, thoughtful state about what you really appreciate, what you're really thankful about, what you're really happy about in your life. There's got to be something that you're happy about and thankful about. You're alive. You're above ground. You have the ability to see and hear what we're talking about right now. That's a good one. So the key thing is the happiest people make being happy simple. They have a highway to happiness, not a little dirt bumpy road with a pockmark in it like so many people do. They have a highway to happiness. Happiness. They take the barriers out of the way and make it easy to be happy. What are you thankful about? What do you really appreciate in your life? Really go into a deep thought about those things and just let that feeling of thankfulness wash over you. Okay, And then think about especially three prominent things that you want to accomplish. And again, picture them as if you've already accomplished them. So try the BTA method. That's breathe, thankful, and accomplish. Give that a try and let me know what you think. Thanks.